Welcome back everybody. So today I'm going to show you how to make backups or repros of Sega Saturn games. So if you make repros or backups, whatever you want to call them for Sega Saturn, you cannot play them on a stock Sa Sega Saturn. You do need to be either running pseudo Saturn, which you can do that by using an action replay, or if you have the Phantom IC chip installed on your system. And we'll talk about those in future videos, but for now, I'm gonna show you how you can burn these properly. I've been very successful, have not had a bad burn. So the first thing you are gonna need is image burn, and you can get that from this website. Link will be in the description for you guys. One thing of note, if you download this, and you do have interest of burning Sega Saturn games, when you install Image Burn, it's gonna try to install a literal ton of crap that you don't want. So please pay attention while you're doing it and do not accept all the extra downloads. It's, it's seriously, it's gonna try to throw a bunch of crap at you and just decline all of them until you get to the end and it installs Image Burn. That's the one downside to Image Burn. I have not seen any version of it that does not do that. So just, you know, be cautious, pay attention to what you're doing so you don't get a bunch of unnecessary programs installed. So once you've got that done, get back to your desktop after you have that image burn downloaded and installed. You're gonna open that bad boy up. And then from here, you're gonna click write image file to disk. So once you're in there, there's gonna be a couple things you're gonna do. The first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna select your file. But before we do that, I do wanna point out that if your Sega Saturn games are not bin and Q files, you're not gonna be able to burn them properly. So the way we're doing it, you do need the bin and Q file. You can find those anywhere, or if you're copying your disk, you know, it's, it's a very simple thing to do. There's programs that can allow you to make backups that way. But if you're downloading, just make sure you get the bin and Q version. I'm not sure if there are other versions out there, but this will only work with bin and Q. So from here, you're gonna click, please select file. You're gonna select this icon, the little folder, and then you're gonna search. So the last game I burned was Radiant Silver Gun. So I don't wanna do that one again. I already have a backup of that game. So the one that I'm gonna do today is actually gonna be Guardian Heroes. So once you find the location of the game with your bin and Q file, you're gonna select the Q file, open. It's gonna know exactly what to do. Now, this is up for debate, so it's gonna probably depend on your burner and the disks you use. I am using verbatim CDRs that, have, that they have inkjet printable tops to them. And I'm gonna do on a future video showing you how I make reproductions with the printed, you know, CD, you know, the cover on the top of the CD to make them seem a little nicer. I'm not doing anything where it's the same artwork that's on the original discs. I'm just doing little custom things. That way I have a nice disc that, that looks cool and has the name of the game on it. So we'll, we'll look at that at a later time. But for these discs and my burner, I am writing at eight times speed. Now I've seen people say 16 is fine or that you should go down to four, but for me, eight is cool. I don't wanna to go too fast, don't wanna to go too slow. Typically if I'm writing at eight times, it only takes me about five minutes or so to burn an image. So your destination, you're just gonna make sure if you have multiple drives, you select the one that's the burner. So I do have a Blu-ray DVD uh, burner here, which obviously it burns CDs as well. So once you have selected your game and you've selected the destination, I believe by default Image Burn will have Verify checkmarked. I would highly recommend unchecking that. Verify is pretty pointless because if you burn the disk and you have Verify checkmarked, once the disk is done being burned, it's going to verify and check if there's any corruption or weird stuff. And to be honest, if the disk 
is burned incorrectly or something goes wrong, there's nothing you can do about it anyway. So you're going to save yourself about half the time. If you have Verify on, it's, it's typically going to take double the time to do this. And you're just going to verify by popping the disc into your system and playing it anyway. So once you're ready for that, just go ahead and click this icon below, which is just to, you know, write. So let's go ahead and do that now. And like I said, this will only take a few minutes. So we're going to go ahead and let this go. And I'm going to fast forward through the process and then we'll go ahead and check out the disc once it's done. So there we go, operation successfully completed. We have burned Guardian Heroes. Took us three minutes, 43 seconds. Not bad at all. So now we need to pop that bad boy into the Sega Saturn and test it out. So let's go ahead and jump into that. Okay guys, so here's our disc. Kind of looks a little weird on the green screen, but gonna go ahead and pop that into my Sega Saturn. Like I said, it has the Phantom chip installed, so it is. I do have the region free and the uh, Phantom chip installed, so region free and can play burned games. So now I'm going to go ahead and power on and see what we got. Hopefully, we're successful. In this system, I have not put a new battery in yet, and I have not changed it to English, which is fine. I'll do a future video showing that if people are interested. But let's go ahead and get to the main system and see if our game boots up. Which I'm, I'm pretty confident it's going to boot up. I have not burned a Sega Saturn game that has not worked as of yet. So here we go, Guardian Heroes. Pretty awesome game. Just check it out, start it up, make sure she actually works. Pick Nicole, what? Stage one, awakening. And I am capturing this through my Elgato uh, HD60 capture card using a video converter, start to HDMI. So I am playing this through SCART at the moment. Let's eat now, what? Well, the mics are coming, let's get ready. <laughs> So, so like I said, um, I am going to do some future videos on doing, you know, these reproductions, um, making them look a little nicer, printing, you know, images to the top of the CD so they look a little slicker, and then making custom, uh, like, CD uh, art for the, um, for the cases. You know, nothing that makes them look legit. There's no reason for any of that. I'm, you know, whenever I do backups or stuff like that, I do like them to look nice for my purposes, especially to make it easy to figure out what the heck it is I'm messing with. But I, I don't make, you know, I don't have the means to even make them look legit. So that's, that's something I want to do anyway. level up after one hit so if you guys are interested in seeing the rest of the process we can go ahead and do some videos on that a future time nothing complicated just a little custom 
artwork and whatnot. But you see the game's running fine. You know, this character's kind of doofy, but whatever. Whoa! That was harsh. I gotta figure out how to play this game. Oh my god, I lost. But there you go, guys. I hope you guys appreciate peeping this out. Smash that like button if you could. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. And I will. Catch you on the next time. Boom! Peace out, guys.